started paying my semester fees and hostel fees. I took a Activa, so I did take a new MacBook Air using. Hi everyone, uh, this is Trevor here. So today we will not be solving any problems uh, in this video. But why I am making this video, I will state the reason clearly. I actually receive a lot of text uh, over LinkedIn, over Telegram that, that by uh, financial problems. Uh, even in my college, a lot of people uh, say me that I am not that financially capable. I need a good job or something like that. So this is the reason I am making this video so that you understand that if you have skills you can even earn something without having a proper job and I did it and I will explain you how I did it and I'll give you ideas on how can you earn during your college days using programming as one of the main weapons it was not that I was not financially stable I'll make one thing clear that why did I chose to make myself financially independent the first reason is I had a lot of dreams so I did not want to bother any of my parents for the financial thing. Secondly, yeah, it, it doesn't look good, right? For every time, papa ye chahiye, mummy ye chahiye, that doesn't look good. So I decided that I will be financially independent on myself so that if I want something tomorrow, I can easily get that thing. So during my college days, I used my programming skills to earn some bucks. So and then what I did with those bucks, I will say you in this video. So let's start. In my college days, I used to participate in all the contests that was going around. And then suddenly someday I wondered that from where does these problems come? Then I did some research and found out that the problems were actually set by college students and they were heavily paid for that. So what I did was I approached some of the platforms. So one of the platforms that accepted me as a problem setter was Hackerath. So I did submit some of the problems there and then I was paid for that. I was uh, really paid well. So they pay you above 2000 per problem depending on the difficulty of the problem. If it is a hard problem, you are paid more. So I did set a lot of problems and kind of earned a lot of bucks from there. So the second source was earning from contest. So there were a lot of inter-college fests going around. So what I decided was to participate in those college fests because what happened was See, if you uh, participate online, you might not win, but the last round actually happens in their college and rarely people from other state come. So you can actually go and apparently if you're good in your city, you end up winning. So I won some of them. I got some bucks from there. And then if you actually log into coachship.com, you will see a bunch of college competitions going around and some of them actually give you some prize money. And luckily I won and I got some bucks from there too. So the next source was GFG. You must have heard about it. So if you open geeksforgeeks.org and scroll through it, you can actually see a lot of articles. And if you carefully observe that the articles are updated on a daily basis. So have you ever wondered who writes these articles? So these articles are actually written by college students and they are paid for it. So it's a wonderful way of earning. Since GFG is such a vast portal where they have articles on Android, web development, Java, interview questions, competitive programming and a lot of stuff. So if you are technically good at anything, you can actually write over there. And the amount that is paid is between 300 to 800. So imagine if you write one article per day, the amount that you can end up earning on a monthly basis. That also working from home. So I started writing in second year and I kept on writing till fourth year. In this span, I actually used to earn a lot of money on a monthly basis from this site using my programming skills. So I'll tell you how do you write articles at GFG. You can go to this link. The link will be in the description and then you can register if you're a new user. And if you're an old user, just simply log in with your username and password and then write an article. So you can write your article as you wish and then click on the submit button. So once you have done that, the team reviews the article and if they find it a fit, they will publish it and you will be paid on the next month. So the next source from where I earned money was internship. So I did a couple of internships in second year and third year and currently I'm doing a six months intern at Amazon. So when you compare the intern salary provided by Amazon, it is actually greater than a lot of companies full time salary. So the next source from where I earn is teaching. So I teach CP course over here and I end up earning a lot of money 
monthly from this site so the other source which held me to earn a lot of bucks during my second year and third year was being a teaching assistant i actually love to solve doubts so i got this post over linkedin that some ex organization was hiring for teaching assistant so i enrolled as a teaching assistant over there and i was paid monthly over there too so i got some bucks from there too so the last source from where i earn is the website that you are currently using you must have seen an ad floating when you started a video so that ad gives me some revenue but then it's not a huge amount around $1 per 2000 views so this might be a small amount that i earn from youtube but it is my passion which is helping me to earn and this is what drives me crazy about youtube that your passion helps you to earn so you must be wondering what did striver do with all the amount that he earned during his college days so the first thing that i did was i got my mother a smartphone because she was using this black and white model after one year when i had this saving stuff and when the money started coming on a monthly basis so i started paying my semester fees and hostel fees but then the semester and hostel fees were not that much it was merely 2k per month but then it felt good because i was paying my expenses on own so after saving for a while i took a activa and i was out of the world when i took it from my own money after i took this activa then i started saving again and then gradually i took iphone 6 and eventually upgraded it to iphone 7 then in fourth year my previous laptop broke down so i did take a new macbook air using my savings that i had earned using all those resources i said you in this video so apart from the ways that i mentioned to earn money there are a lot more like my friends did freelancing work like developing an android app or an website for any particular organization but then i haven't tried this aspect but my couple of friends have done it and this is a promising way to earn too Before ending this video I like to add a couple of points the first one being I'm nowhere saying that you cannot approach your parents for money so do not take my words in a wrong way and the second thing the video is for them who unfortunately are not that financially stable or they have dreams and they want to accomplish them without actually bothering someone or if they want to become independent on their own so this is all about the video now let's talk about connecting if you want to connect me over linkedin this is my profile if you want to join our telegram channel the link is in the description if you have liked the video press the like button if you have disliked the video press the dislike button if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe and to press the bell icon